Have you ever heard of a relationship bed? And no, it has nothing to do with poker or bridge, but it does have everything to do with being and staying in love in a long-term committed relationship. Hi, I'm Dr. Margaret Cochran, and this is Wisdom, Love, and Magic. So, relationship bits, what's up with that? Relationship bits are cues partners give one another in their daily interactions that indicate requests for connection and engagement. The term was coined by Dr. John Gottman, one of the few in the research arm of psychology to actually study intimate relationships rather than just create theories about them. In the 1990s, Gottman and his team at the University of Washington studied newlywed couples in what was called the Love Lab. Gottman's research demonstrated that the more bid savvy you are and the more positively you respond to those bids, the better your chance for relationship survival. What do bids look like? Well, they can be anything from a comment, a question, a story, an invitation, asking for assistance, a gesture, or even a facial expression. Bids are requests for time and companionship, such as you had when you were dating. The connection that comes of recognizing and attending to them helps keep your love alive and flourishing. Sometimes bids are obvious, such as asking your partner to run errands with you. That one's clearly about having time together to talk and have fun while conducting some of the business of marriage. Sometimes bids are less direct, such as your partner indicating that they're ready for bed. This can be a multifaceted one, indicating another request for companionship, a good night kiss, or an invitation for lovemaking. The idea is that the bidder gets that they are being asked to interact and they respond positively. Or to use Gottman nomenclature, the bid E turns toward the bid er rather than away from them. There are three basic ways to respond to bids, turning away, turning toward, and turning against. Turning toward means you are paying attention to your partner and understand their gestures, their language, and the potential for deeper meaning in their requests. If not, and you miss that specific invitation, you could create a micro wound those add up over time, and nothing good comes of them. Turning away is a lack of acknowledgement of the bid, intentionally or unintentionally. For example, if your partner wants to initiate conversation or cuddling and you're absorbed in your phone. Attending to our partner's needs and feelings is an important part of courtship and creating deep intimacy. To stop doing that, or to do so inconsistently, begins to create the micro-wounds I mentioned earlier. These are gaps or holes in the fabric of the relationship that can, over time, severely weaken and even destroy it. And finally, turning against your partner's bid would look like responding to it with a sarcastic remark, angry refusal, or even a passive-aggressive snub. That's not a micro-wound. That's a stab in the heart. And partners that employ those kinds of things do not stay together. Turning away or turning against bids only serves to suck the life's bloods out of intimacy and cause arguments, feelings of resentment, loneliness, and disconnection. And this can set the groundwork for one or both of the partners to look elsewhere for intimacy, emotional and otherwise. It's important that both partners initiate bids. If one partner finds themselves carrying the emotional load for the entire relationship, they'll likely get burned out and feel neglected, unseen, and resentful. So ask yourself, are you giving clear or confusing bids for attention? You can't expect your partner to read your mind, even if you love them dearly and you've been together for a very long time. How have you been responding to your partner's bids lately? Are you turning toward, turning away, or turning them off? Here are a few tips on how to improve your situation. Remember to initiate your bids clearly and don't be critical or whiny when you do so. Remind your partner of how much you love them and enjoy their company. Distractions can wreak havoc with bidding when giving or receiving, so put down your phone, pause the movie, and stop playing your video game. Just be together and talk. Express interest in what your partner has to say. Listen when they talk about their day. Check to see if listening is what they need or do they want your input as well. Move your ego aside and don't feel rejected or dismissed if your partner needs a sounding board versus a problem solver. Show interest in and express pride about your partner's skills and accomplishments. It may feel uncomfortable at first, but if you stick with it, you will really come to enjoy your undistracted time together. If you find yourself in a relationship where bids are frequently missed, dismissed, or absent altogether, it is important that you sit down with your partner talk about what's missing for you, and see if you two can get back in sync. If not, 
then you both need to go see a licensed mental health professional and get some much needed help, guidance, and support. A couples therapist will give you tools to navigate choppy relationship seas, but if you wait too long, you may experience an emotional tsunami that you cannot recover from. Until next time, I'm Dr. Margaret Cochran. Be safe and be well.